Hello, I'm Diane Southerd, and here's another tip for you and your DNA. Today, let's talk about mitochondrial DNA. When we take a mitochondrial DNA test, it's called an mtDNA full sequence test. But before we dive into that, let's talk a little bit about mitochondrial DNA. Your mitochondrial DNA is a circular piece of DNA that is 16,569 letters long. You got that circular piece of DNA from your mother, and she got it from her mother, who got it from her mother, and we could keep going. Your mitochondrial DNA really represents your own direct maternal line, your mother's 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 mother. That makes you a walking, living, breathing record of your 17th great-grandmother, even though you don't know her name or where she lived. Isn't that pretty amazing? I think that's one thing that's often overlooked about our DNA is that it did live in someone else eons ago and here we are walking around with it today. So the full sequence test determines all of those letters surrounding that mitochondrial DNA circle, making it the most comprehensive kind of test you can take for mitochondrial DNA. The problem is when you have a mitochondrial DNA match, it doesn't always mean you're closely related. In fact, when someone shares your mitochondrial DNA, they could be your 20th cousin or they could be your first cousin. And it's really hard to tell the difference. But that doesn't mean mitochondrial DNA isn't valuable for your family history. It can tell you important information about your origins on your maternal line. And if you have a good question, it might even be able to help you find the answer. So that's Diane's tip of the day about mitochondrial DNA.